mess in here. Everything was flying around. And when we came to a, a complete stop, I waited and I waited to see. I thought they were going to come out and come in the side door there and see what they got. So I waited and I waited. And then eventually I, I just knew that nobody was coming. So I got out and I'm in my underwear and a t-shirt and it's pouring rain and I came around the side of the, the van there and there was a couple sitting in another van looking at what had happened and I was on the phone with 911. I told them that I needed help. They took over the phone. I came back inside looking for my, my other dog. I thought she was somewhere in this mess, crushed, maybe dead. I couldn't find her. I asked the police to come in and help me, which they weren't very helpful at all. Um, and so after that, I decided that obviously she's not here. She's somehow between here and wherever um, we, we ended up crashing the vehicle. So I put my shorts on, my rain jacket, I grabbed my other dog. We started hiking down the, down the hill, calling her name, yelling, Daisy, Daisy. I couldn't find her. Eventually I came down to the bottom of the hill. I stood in the middle of the highway. I flagged down. A young kid who was super, super hesitant about picking some weirdo up that had just been, you know, in, a, in the ride of his life. And eventually I told him who I was and he packaged me up and we got into the vehicle. He drove us back here. Um, my boss at the time called the two guys that I'm traveling with, Mike and Kyle from uh, Outlaw Productions. They're a film company for MXP Magazine. I was calling her name, calling her name. I heard Kyle go, she's over here. And uh, it was it was very, very emotional. I was really happy to see that I got my dog back. And uh, I'm just glad it's over. I'm really glad it's over and we're all safe. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been crazy.